We had an update from the hospital this morning here in Israel. We're not expecting, I think, to hear more unless there is a real change in the condition of Ariel Sharon. Clearly, that condition remains very serious. He's been in a coma uh, for almost exactly eight years to the day. We understand that in recent days, his condition within that coma has been deteriorating. Family are gathered at the bedside. We understand there have been discussions about what kind of medical intervention may or may not be possible. We've been told by a very senior doctor from the hospital where he's being treated that his life is in danger. But when he was asked about speculation in the Israeli media that perhaps that life expectancy could now be measured in days or even hours, the doctor said, look, I'm not a prophet. No one can count his days. So really, we can't be anything more, any more specific than that. We know that Ariel Sharon, within that state of coma, is very seriously ill. His body is deteriorating. But what the next few hours and days will hold for him, we really can't say. So, Kevin, everyone watching very closely, obviously, can you remind us how he is viewed in Israel now? Well, Ariel Sharon's a figure of enormous significance in Israeli society and Israeli history. His career dates back right to the foundation of the state in 1948. He fought in the Israeli War of Independence. He was a soldier for many years. He fought in all of Israel's crucial wars of what Israelis regard as national survival in 1967 and 1973. He was a very senior and significant uh, commander in those wars, a national hero, if you like. And he took that authority from that military career into politics. He was always a controversial figure here. Not all Israelis supported his political positions. Of course they didn't. And he was able to use his authority as, uh, that he'd built up in a life of soldiering to push through some pretty difficult decisions in Israel, like the withdrawal uh, from Gaza uh, in 2005. So he was never afraid to make difficult decisions. I think it's fair to say, although sometimes a rather awkward thing to say at moments like this, that Ariel Sharon was hated by Israel's Arab enemies throughout the course of much of his life and was seen as a very controversial figure throughout the Middle East. Those Israelis who loved Ariel Sharon, who still love him now, of course, he is still uh, alive, they would argue that the extent to which he was hated in the Arab world is perhaps a measure of the contribution he made to Israel's security uh, through its many crises uh, over the last decades.